When it comes to nature and the ecosystem, the cardinal rule is that everything is interconnected. Having an impact on one element of this interconnected chain can have a cascading effect. Illegal wildlife trade, which poses a grave risk to several plants, animals and fungi species globally, should not just be viewed from the lens of conservation. It also has a series of impacts on ecosystem functions and processes that affect the climate. The paper was released by the UN ODC during the recently concluded COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt. Even though IWT will affect the concerned species directly, the indirect impact it has on the ecosystem should also be considered, says the report. But how exactly? The African forest elephant is now critically endangered. They have declined by 86% in the last 30 years due to habitat loss and poaching for their ivory. These elephants, along with white rhinos and pangolins, act as ecosystem engineers. Elephants help reduce above-ground carbon through grazing and disturbance. They influence nutrient transport and plant communities in ways that shape entire ecosystems and can increase carbon stocks. Removing the population of forest elephants would result in a 7% decrease in the above-ground biomass in Central African rainforests. Similarly, white rhinos help to balance the carbon cycle through soil compaction and disturbance which helps to control wildfires in grassland ecosystems. Pangolins, the most trafficked animals globally, help control the population of social insects such as termites and ants, which are the main part of their diet. Notably, termites are vital decomposers, but that process also results in an estimated 1-3% to of natural global annual emissions, the report noted. The report also highlighted that areas rich in biodiversity and carbon, like Southeast Asia, are also hotbeds of illegal wildlife trade. The report concluded that reforms should not only mean reducing illegal wildlife trade, but also improving overall environmental and social outcomes.